It's going to be that Kung Fu Chaos on the Xbox and that Battlefront 2. You see them? Yeah. I got so many games back there, I didn't even see it. Thank you. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ty White. I consider myself a rap head, so I'd be remiss if I didn't mention this. Eminem dropped a new CD, Kamikaze. Surprise release. Dissed a bunch of MCs on there. I heard the, I've listened to a few of the songs on the uh, CD. I heard it, it's dope, trust me. I already ordered it. A physical copy online, should be here in a couple of days. Happy to see my boys back. Now, one of the MCs he dissed was Machine Gun Kelly. Then Machine Gun Kelly came back with a diss track against Eminem. I remember it just like it was yesterday. I think it was off of my Thousand Count Sheets LP. I used to sleep on the streets. Now I sleep on a Thousand Count Sheets. Tight white is elite. Flights on my feet, a thousand count sheets on the bed where I sleep. I said, when I dropped that diss track against my boy, Power Player Paul. And then Power Player Paul came back with the diss track against me. People don't know, man, that was the first white on white crime, AKA Mayonnaise Wars. Let's go ahead and show a partial clip of my rap verse right now. Partial rhymes of Marshy. See how I did that? What's my motherfucking name? Jeff Mackenzie, the greatest game hunter that you ever will see. I hit Goodwill thrift stores and retail too. I'm in the white Ultima jamming DJ screw. I hunt retro games and I'm a YouTube star. Homeless man with the squeegee stay away from my car. I copyrighted all of this cause people copy my shit. I was the first at half price books catching them slip. Tight white's the rap name, tightest white boy in the game. I murdered Vanilla Ice and Manil and House of pain regarded as the hardest at goodwill getting bargains excuse me beg your pardon i'm houston like james harden is tight white all right guys that was part of my verse right there and not more than 24 hours later power player paul dropped this right here
Gonna be these NES games, right? Yes, sir. How are you today? Good. How you doing? Super Mario Brothers 2 Zelda. Okay. Yeah, if you hold those, appreciate it. Thank you. All right, what's up, everybody? So, your boy is heading over to an offer up deal. Just talked to the guy on the phone. Apparently, I'm meeting his fiance, a girlfriend, or wife, can't remember what it was, over at a Thai restaurant to pick up this Wii U slash Wii lot. Um, and apparently her name is, or maybe it's her nickname, Beer. That's who I was told to ask Beer. for the restaurant. So, there is at least a 50% chance I'm going to fall in love. Just saying. Alright, so uh, the Wii U lot, I saw it and it was, I think, $250. That was the list price. A couple of weeks ago, or maybe even longer than that, the guy cut the price down to 175, and I was able to talk him down to 160. I wanted 150, but I could only get him down to 160, which I think is still a great deal, and I'll be able to make my money back and keep some stuff. If you guys remember, I picked up that Wii U at Goodwill, and I finally got the screwdriver in the mail. I took it apart, and there's it looked like it might have got wet. The board at the bottom. Which I'm not seeing any of those. It's like a, I guess it's a synchronization board. And I'm not seeing any on sale on eBay because it's an easy swap out. So this is cool. I'm going to get a Wii U pad here to at least replace that one. And I might sell the other one's parts. All right, guys. I'm going to record a little bit more once we get over there. And yeah, we're going to meet Beer. Go figure. All right, guys. I'm at the Thai restaurant. Uh, I just thought this would actually be funny if I go in there and ask for a beer and they actually bring me an actual beer. That'd be pretty funny. Anyway, let's go inside, meet this chick, beer, and uh, see what's up on this Wii U lot, guys.
I'll show you your older games, like your PS2 and Wii games. Okay. Alright, what is up everybody? Welcome to the crib. Welcome to the recap portion of the video. Wow, it's been a great week, guys. This is probably two and a half to close to three weeks of uh, video game pickups. Let's go ahead and start. If you guys did not watch the live stream where I picked up all these records, vintage hip-hop records and rock and roll records, I'm going to go ahead and go over this real quick before we get to the video games. Let's start at the uh, top left corner up there. Prince, I could never take the place of your man. Well, that's some bullshit. All right, next up here we have Cool Mo D, I guess self-named uh, record. Bruce Springsteen, Darkness of the Edge of Town, on the Edge of Town. By the way, Cool Mo D, rap legend, one of the greatest rappers of all time. Another greatest rapper of all time, LL Cool J. That's the bad record right there, guys. That is insanely classic. We have No Respect in the Middle with Cool Mo D again. Self-named uh, record, I guess, LL Cool J with the radio on it. This is... This would have this would probably have radio in it, right? I can't live without my radio. Uh, you can't dance, dear Yvette. I can give you more and dangerous. Bottom left corner here, Bruce Springsteen's Nebraska. You have the soundtrack, the colors, and then Bruce Springsteen's The Wild, The Innocent, and the E Street Shuffle. That's all I can fit on the. Uh, let me grab a couple more. That's all I can fit on the table. Next up, all 99 cents each, guys. Bruce Springsteen, The River. Another classic. Going back to Cali, LL Cool J's Less Than Zero, guys. Bruce Springsteen, Tunnel of Love. One of the greatest rockers of all time. Bruce Springsteen, Born to Run. Classic. All right, guys, that's it. Let's go ahead and get to the video games. We've got a lot to go through, but I'm going to race through it. Probably just show game footage of only a few games, a couple uh, at the least, or three at the most. All right, now, let's get to it. Pawn Shop, fine. Dirt to Daytona, NASCAR game. This is a dupe for me. I picked this up for $2.17. And... Complete disc is in okay shape. I'll go ahead and flip that for fifteen to twenty dollars. Next up, this was a actually this wasn't a Goodwill. This was a thrift store pickup. Paid three dollars and twenty five cents for this. A minty copy of Star Wars Battlefront Two. Do for me. I can go ahead and flip that. This was a 75% off fine guy at Goodwill. So I ended up paying, I don't know if you guys can read that, $1.35 on this. NFL Street 2, complete. Another dupe for me, I can flip that. This was a cool find and this will tie into uh, later in the video guys, whether I'm gonna keep this or not. Wii U, Super Mario 3D World, Factory sealed, $4.99 on that. Always nice to find cart games at Goodwill, guys. Even though they were $4.99, I'm okay with that if they're decent titles. So $4.99 each on this. Very nice label on this. Friday the 13th. That's a dupe for me. This is a game that I needed for my collection, believe it or not. Not in the greatest shape, but I'll take it. It's definitely uh, worth all of $4.99. You get The Adventures of Link, Zelda 2. And then we got another dupe for me in very nice shape. Super Mario, Super Mario Brothers 2. I don't know why I have problems getting that out. Alright, I did not show this in the video. You won't find me showing these type of finds in my videos anymore. So, I'll include them in the recap. But there's no sense in showing them. I want to say, oh yeah, I did keep the receipt. I'm actually pretty organized with this. So these were also, I believe, 75 cents off. So for, for both of these, I'm going to show you here, $1.62. And this one had two Wii Sports in it. So 
I got a resurfacer. I'm going to clean those up so I don't get charged with the uh, refurbished charge from GameStop and go ahead and flip those. And then also included in that DAR 62, which was, I'll take it all day, Wii Sports Resort. This needs to be cleaned up on the JFJ Easy Pro as well. All right. Last from uh, those few days here is going to be a game that's shot up in price. It's actually worth something now. Alice Madness Returns. Let's go ahead and check out some game footage on this, guys. It could have happened that way, Alice. You remember poor Mr. Crook? Died, didn't he? Dr. Wilson rejects spontaneous combustion, but I trust Mr. Dickens. All right, guys. Next up, let me hit you with the Wii and Wii U lot. So, like I said, I paid $160 for everything that you're about to see right now, which I think is a pretty good deal. You guys let me know what you think. All right, so first up, Amiibo, Toad, it's been open. Care less about that. So we, I'm not going to show you all the cords and stuff because that's boring. So we got a Wii U, black. Already tested it, it works. A very nice condition uh, Wii U pad. Tested that as well, it works perfect. And by the way, I already sold the one that I bought from Goodwill, not the console, I still have the console, I'm selling that next for $39.99, sold as is, explained on the uh, description on eBay that it would not pair with the uh, Wii U, and it's still sold, because people can fix that kind of stuff, so I already made my money back from the Goodwill, didn't get burned on that, and I'm going to actually make a profit by selling the console now that I have my Wii U here, if I decide to keep my Wii U, I might even make more money and sell this one as well, alright, Again, I won't show you all this stuff. It came with like three of these steering wheels, which are great to sell with a Mario Kart. You can make a few more dollars. Came with two reg controllers. And I'm not seeing in here, because I probably have it somewhere else, but I think it came with, I'm pretty sure it did. It came with three uh, nunchucks. Then it came with a pink motion control plus controller. This goes for a little bit of money. Here's some of the games. Splatoon. Avengers. I'm going to sell all the games. I'm going to keep that 3D world over there because I heard it's a really good game. And sell all these so I can get my money back. Super Mario Maker. Might keep a couple depending on where I'm at as far as making my money back. New Super Mario Brothers uh, U. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, Captain Toad Treasure Track, I actually played this game, I like it a lot. More steering wheels. And then they, there's a bunch of Skylanders in there, Just Dance 4 on the Wii, Zumba Fitness 2, Mario Kart Wii. Super Mario Brothers Wii. I have this, the Wii, the Wii and most of these Wii games I have up on, or actually all these Wii games I have up on eBay right now. If it doesn't sell quickly for around the price I'm asking, I'll go ahead and just trade them in to GameStop. Super Mario Galaxy 2, Skylanders Spyro Adventure. There's the Wii right there. Very nice shape. And then cords, there's some nunchucks in there. And a bunch of Skylanders are in there. I don't know anything about Skylanders, so. 
Spyro. I know that's Spyro, so I do know something. All right, so that's it. All right, guys, I teased this a long time ago on my live stream when I was opening up some rare, hard-to-find PS1 games, and uh, I did not get any footage of this, but it's not a super expensive game, and it's one of those really, really hard-to-find PS1 games that when I saw it out on the shelf at a local video game store, Game Over, in my area, I was like, holy shit, this game you do not see pop up a lot. I might be getting this confused a little bit, but I know, I think it's in PAL regions. This game, this never came out. Run, Runabout 1 never came out in uh, the United States. It was called Felony, and then some kind of digits after it. Felony, something or another, you guys might remember the screen. Felony, some kind of digits, I can't remember. But that was, for whatever reason, it was called Felony in the United States. And then PAL regions, it was called Runabout 1. And then they went back to the other name, Runabout 2, on the PlayStation. And if I, correct me if I'm wrong on this, I think they were going to put this out on the PS2, but they canceled it. Maybe that has something to do with the rarity of it, but it's made by Hot B, whatever the hell that is. Hot Boys, I don't know, what the fuck. Runabout 2, PlayStation 1, with the yellow disc. You do not see this a lot, guys. Let's go ahead and check out some game footage. Probably a goofy game, but... Hard to find for sure. Yeah, so that looks like a uh, bootleg ass Grand Theft Auto. All right, something I forgot to show you guys that. So there's some more stuff here from that Wii and Wii U lot. There's a, I think this is called a Pro Controller, some manuals, and another Wii Sports, a bunch of cords. All right, now let's get, let's go ahead and call this whole lot that I'm about to show you the sick pick. So not that it needs an introduction, here is one. All right, everything that I'm about to show you guys, I paid $67.81 for. Everything is complete. The majority of all the discs are in great shape. I think there's, oh no, I'm sorry, there's one game that's not complete. There's one game that's a little scratched up, but for the, re for the most part, everything is in great shape. All right. First pick up here, Champions of Norrath, Norrath, complete, that's a dupe for me, Shining Force Neo, that's a dupe for me, it's another dupe here, Transformers, it's that OG Transformers right here, I actually like this game, it's a little glitchy but it's a good game. Okay, I, I was I thought this was a dupe, but I'm having problems finding it, so I'm not sure on this one. I might keep it. If, if I don't have it, obviously I'm keeping it because I'm a PS2 guy. If but if I do have it, I'm gonna flip it. Wild Arms three. Definitely adding this to the collection because I do not have it. Wild Arms four. Very nice condition. Another game that I do not have. The Punisher. This is a game that I have, so I'll be flipping this. Dragon Guard 2. Absolutely hit the jackpot. Dirge of Cerebus, Final Fantasy. This is a uh, this is Final Fantasy 7. Is that 7? Yeah, that's what it says. All right, so that's complete as well. I do not have this for the collection. I thought I did, but I do not. This, I believe I have. I haven't checked yet. Sweetening Tactics. It's got the bonus disc and the game disc. 
Champions Return to Arms. I just picked this up on the last video. I have dupes of this. I believe I have this as well. The Ark of uh, Napotism. Nap Napishtum. Oh, fuck it. Ease. The Ark of Nappiness. I don't know. Next up, we have Demon Stone. Two ninety nine each, guys. Next up, I did not know. I knew that one of the Onamusha titles was hard to find, but I had to look this one up. I almost left it at first, but when I looked it up, I was like, damn, it's like a $28, $30 game. Onamusha, Dawn of Dreams. Let's check out some game footage on this, guys. All right, guys, yeah, that looks really good, man. I have not played any of the Onamusha games, so interested in trying that one out. All right, let's get through the rest of these. Chaos Legion. This is another double. Another double here, Resident Evil Outbreak. And hidden inside of here, one of the greatest games of all time, Resident Evil 4. I'll take it. A game that I do not think I have, Genji. Dawn of the Samurai. Legacy of Kane Defiance. Really cool artwork on that. Really nice. I have that as well. Probably the sickest of the games here, guys. Something I do not have, and now I do have for my collection Sukaden 5, or Suikoden 5. Complete. Two ninety nine. Oh yeah. Really cool game. Uh, really, just a dope ass horror style game. Uh, I think there's two in the series. I never beat the first one. I think this is, might be the second one. Check out the artwork on it. Yeah, the the uh, the creature in this one doesn't doesn't remind me of the game that I played. The one that I had, they would like hang upside down and they had like blades coming from their hands and he was trapped in prison. But this game's actually worth a little bit of money and I don't, I, I don't think I have it. If I do have it, I have it loose. So nice to add that to the collection. And then next up we have Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits or Twilight, yeah, of the Spirits. Complete. Dupe. And the last of the, those titles, the only one that does not have a manual, and I think I have this as well, Dawn of Mana. Right there, guys. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I want to keep this under 30 minutes, which I'm not sure where I'm at right now, but I'm definitely going to try to get it under 30 minutes. So real quick here, it's been, I think, about three years since David Van Hollick died of lung cancer from smoking cigarettes. Uh, I dedicated a couple of videos to him and I uh, just want to say rest in peace David and peace and love to their family and don't smoke cigarettes guys of this game for you just give me a sign alright guys peace out and I'll talk to you later trying to oppose me is like trying to smoke some frozen weed it ain't gonna happen captain I keep the shit cracking like Michael Jackson when he was African way before we was asking what happened to his black skin I'm Mac and attack and doing back spins in the back of the club with two black friends. All my white friends think I'm tighter than a bike rim. On a white swim with tight white written on the pipe and tight white spitting and I'm sniping. Van Hollick is a motherfucking Viking. Fighting cancer like Tyson till his life ends. 
Rest in peace, David. Thanks for being my friend.